children are amazing because of their innocence and sheer curiosity. They say whatever comes to mind and ask whatever they want. Mrs. Cynthia, a longtime waitress, is Holland's favorite. She works at Waffle House in Fort Myers, one of Holland's favorite eateries. Mrs. Cynthia has known Holland since she was a newborn and has always sat her at her beloved corner booth, bringing her favorite raisin toast and apple juice. Mrs. Cynthia was well known in the family by the time Hollard turned one. She had nearly become like a family member. They share information about their life and even pray for one another. Mrs. Cynthia prayed for Mrs. Holland's adult son, and Mrs. Cynthia prayed for Mary Catherine's struggle with breast cancer. Author Mary Catherine Backstrom composed a novel in Mrs. Cynthia's area of the restaurant, drinking numerous cups of coffee served by the waiter to feed her creativity. But no one admired Mrs. Cynthia more than Holland. Holland, in fact, desired Waffle House birthday parties. Mrs. Cynthia is such a regular that she orders as soon as she sees her car pull up. Their connection is lovely, full of adoration and affection for one another. Until Holland surprised her mother with a question she asked Mrs. Cynthia one day, during the subsequent stillness, you could have heard a pin drop. Mary Catherine's heart rate tripled. I wish I had dark skin like you, Mrs. Cynthia. How come your skin is so dark? Mary Catherine, on the other hand, should not have worried. Mrs. Cynthia responded to her query with such genuine and lovely honesty that it gave both Holland and Mary Catherine a life lesson. Because God created everyone unique. Isn't that fantastic? Holland agreed with a nod, but she still had childish, sincere questions for her pal. The most significant, of course, was about her favorite Disney character. But Mrs. Cynthia, if I had your skin, we'd be able to dress up like Tiana. Mrs. Cynthia couldn't stop giggling at her little friend's thoughtful remark. You may dress like Tiana whenever you want, honey. A life lesson learnt by both Holland and Mary Catherine. My three-year-old daughter recognizes the difference between a black woman and a white woman. Humans are not born blind to their differences, and, to be honest, pretending these disparities don't exist is an insult in so many ways. What we must do is purposefully educate our children to notice and appreciate the characteristics that distinguish God's people. Whether it's because of their ethnicity, nationality, or religious views, we must discuss these issues. Because, spoiler warning, our children have already seen them. And although Mary Catherine hesitated when Holland casually introduced the issue of race with the lady she loved who has a different skin tone, she recognized it was because she didn't want to screw up her answer. She didn't want to offend anybody by saying the wrong thing. She wanted her kid to understand that skin color is irrelevant. Mary Catherine shared a completely honest and lovely parenting experience with everyone online. We can only hope that all children, like Holland, grow up appreciating the beauty that exists inside everyone rather than simply what is visible on the surface.